so we are doing the interactive groups AMV. Let's go ahead with the interactive groups AMV now. Prefer SC30, that is CAT. So we will create uh, two structures to work area centered between two two. So uh, I mean, like we can also avoid creating a structure here if at all if we already have the structure in the in uh, the global one global structure if you already have created then we can avoid creating that here so we can go ahead with as of now i'll create the structures here only we can also create it parallel in the global one begin of sq underscore dkps of this one is going to be KPF and then we have this BU Keras and BU Keras Belner and Belner underscore D GJHL and GJHL PLART type PLART. So these are the fields that we have in the DKPF. Then we have BSEG. So begin of SK underscore BSEG. End of SK underscore BSEG. We'll go ahead with the Belmet type Belmet. Then we have AUGU AUGDT. Type AU GDT PSCHL type BSCHL GSPER type GSPER. So these are the fields that we have. Data and game description. BKPF times and the table of SK underscore BKPF IT underscore BSEG type. Even if you don't write standard table of, it will still be standard table of. And you can also write it like this in shortcut. W underscore BKPF type. No. Type SK underscore BKPF. FK underscore PSEG type SK underscore PSEG IT underscore FCT1 FCT1 type LVC underscore T underscore FCAT IT underscore FCT2 type NBC underscore T underscore F. PT underscore 
we have it underscore uh, sorry wa underscore fct1 type lbc underscore s underscore fk wa underscore fct2 type lbc underscore s underscore okay. so these are things and then we have is underscore label is underscore label so is underscore label type lbc underscore s underscore label then we have the comma here so we'll go ahead with select options s underscore banner but bkpf hyphen banner i'll go for the b underscore bkpf Okay, then we have something like O underscore container. O underscore C O and one type of two C L underscore G A underscore custom underscore container. Custom underscore container. O underscore C O and two type of two. CL underscore GBI underscore custom underscore container. Then we have O underscore ALV one ALV one type ref two CL underscore GBI underscore ALV underscore container. O underscore ALV two type ref two. CL underscore GA underscore AG underscore. Okay. Now we need to define. We need to define one more thing called class. Class CL underscore event definition deferred. Because we are going to make use of this class uh, now, but we are going to define it later. So whenever we want to define it now and want to uh, define it later, we want to make use of it now and define it later. So we, we have to use this. Then we'll go ahead with the object ob underscore event type ref to cl underscore event. Now this. Have select options. S underscore banner. Sorry, we can do it like banner. It can be already done, right? So this is about the data declaration, and then we have to go for AS underscore label. So AS underscore Leo hyphen say zebra, which we are already done in the past right? Zebra is equals to X. We'll go for AS underscore Leo hyphen grid underscore title. So the title you can give it as something like uh, accounts 
data. W underscore F cat of setting one F and column underscore position is equals to one. name is equals to do caras and double uh, step cp one open cell text is equals to company code and then double underscore cp one now we have, we have this second one second column so for second column the field so for, uh, as i told you we can avoid this by writing the field catalog merge we will have an option for field catalog merge So we have account number. Then we have three. Okay, so we have uh, BLART, GCHR, BLART. We will write the text for that. And we have the fourth column, BLART. write those things now i'll write the text for that then the similar fashion we have to do for the second uh, second screen as well so we need to build the field catalogs for the second screen as well let's do that now let's go ahead with the field catalogs for the second screen so these are all common for all the uh, this field catalogs maintaining everything we're doing it twice whatever we're doing we're doing it twice And for two, we have the field name as AUGDT BSH AUGDT. I'll add the text for this three. BSCHL for BSCHL GSB G has B E R G 
business area. Posting team. Page it is account number. So we can, it's better to always clear the here the work area whenever we have this so it's a general practice that we normally write the clear clear w underscore fct1 so once we uploaded the data successfully we'll clear it so we go ahead with steering w So here we have to write this FCT2. One, one of the, okay. So this is a two. So we have a third, third one is uh, okay, fine. So we have done the field catalogs. We have built the field catalogs for the second screen as well. Then we'll write the startup selection here. We can write the startup selection before that also, or we can write the startup selection now also. So this is something which need not be coming in the startup selection category. So we have startup selection. Then we will go ahead with call screen 100. This is for the first screen. First uh, starting at, you can write like this, so starting at 2, 2. What does that mean is it will move the output box will move to two side two uh, two values this side and two values on the top two rows two two columns on the left side and two rows on the top it will move so that's what we have here call screen then we'll go for we'll go ahead with the class definition so remember here we have written this class we have written the class here so this is something like class cl underscore event and definition different right. So for that we have to write the we have to we have to build it now. We have to build the class. So class definition, right? So far class, what is the class name that we have here? The class we have definition deferred CL underscore event. This actually why are we doing that is because it has to be written under the startup selection after the call screen has been created. Then it will work. So CL underscore definition. Okay, now here public section public section and we will write see there is already a standard event for a standard class which i'm going to make use of so methods click this click is something which you can give on your own okay you can give your name as well okay give, i can give aditya so for event for event double underscore click event double underscore click of CL underscore GUI underscore ALV underscore grid. CL underscore GUI underscore ALV underscore grid. So this is already existing uh, class, right? In that we'll all already have an event called double underscore click. If you double click, it will take us directly to the event. Now this click is our own name. Okay, this is a double click is already there an event. It is an event in the uh, class, standard class. So this Click is a, our own name. We can be we, we can define whatever you want. But this for even double click of e, if class cl underscore g underscore underscore it is something which is mandatory. We have to give it as like that only. Now importing. There is one one field that we have to write importing. So here we'll go for importing. 
importing uh, importing e underscore row e underscore column these are also there these are also already there in the sap standard one okay. then you have to go for n plus n plus so after this again we'll go for in class implementation right because we are, if we have written something we have to also implement it implementation so this cl underscore event also it need not be cl underscore event it can be anything else as well so here we have this method click n method so in the method click we'll go for read table read table it underscore bkps into w underscore bkpf index e underscore row this is something which similar to what we have done in the normal function model uh, index so we'll go for perform second perform second using this should be written here we can also write the logic here also but uh, i'm using this perform statement so we'll write the logic for that in the form statement in the completely down so w underscore bkpf changing it underscore bseg and this is what we have. bseg has to be changed this is for the second screen call screen 200 Starting at two two. Starting at two. two. Okay. Now we have to create a form for this second. So just have double click on it. Yes. It should be at the end of the program actually. So this should be at the end of the end of the program. In this, we'll write the select statement for the second screen. Select Belner UGT. This is for the second screen. HGT, BSCHL, GSBR from BSKG into into table IT underscore BSKG where will not equal to the hidden value this uh, whatever we have hidden so see if because we have passed w underscore uh, bkpf and it underscore bkpf there now this is this automatically has come as uh, p underscore w underscore bkpf and p underscore it underscore bcg so what we'll write here is that p underscore w underscore bkpf hyphen builder so i'll explain you this once again so this is for the second screen actually so we need to write we have to call this uh, call screen 100 okay this method this perform statement should be at the last at the end of the program but what will what will happen right now is when we are calling the methods see we'll get four methods now uh, that method two methods for the 100 screen two methods for the 200 screen those things will uh, will automatically get generated at the port at the at the end of this program but what we'll do is we'll try to put this form at below that later once it gets when once it gets created let us first create them now let us go for the call screen 100 double click on the 100 yes and we need to create a container so we'll go ahead with the screen one of accounts then we'll go for flow logic in the flow logic we have to go for more module and the layout in the layout we need to create a container to get the data so obviously we'll be creating two two containers for two screens two different screens one for the first screen another for the second screen okay so in this we'll be going ahead with the container we'll go for container this is a container and double click on the container and write the name of the container as cont1 this is for the first screen and then we'll write the push button we, we don't have to do anything just 
write the uh, write the name of the container. Container name we are giving the C one T one. This is P D one. Uh, exit. If you want to exit, then you have to write this as exit. Back. Now, once we have designed it, we have to double click on it so that it gets generated in the program. Because this needs to be created in the program, right? We'll go ahead with the program. Say yes. Once it's been done, save. Back. Then go ahead with the second one. Say yes. In the main program, say OK. This is done. So we need to write this exit command. We need to write, for exit, we need to write it in the input case. That's why we go in case when exit new program. So this is what we have. And uh, we'll go ahead with okay. So these two two modules will keep them above the form, or in fact, like we'll after creating all the modules, we'll we'll go ahead and keep this form in the end. That will be that'll be better. Okay. Now we have to also design the screen for the second second one for the second two hundred. Click on the two hundred. Do you want to create yes? This is screen two. Go for the flow logic and comment these two modules and then we go for layout in the layout you just put the container here double click on the container and give it a cont2 container2 so we'll go for this push button pb pb pb5 exit so for this also I'll write exit uh, exit equal as exit only and uh, save it. This is the second screen back and uh, once it's been done activate this because we have done with this double click on this so that it gets created in the program and then save back double click on this input that also we need to create that main program so this is for the second screen okay. now once all the all the four modules have been created have been generated in our program let's keep this form at the end of the program because form should always be at the end of the program Okay, this form let it play. form should always be at the end of the program actually. So now let's focus on generating this uh, this thing. So select statement we have not written for the sec first screen. Second screen select statement we have written in the in the in the in the class because it is associated with the event. I'll explain you this event concept again. Okay, so let's go ahead with the model. Okay, so in the first screen output, we'll go ahead with 
in the first screen output we'll go ahead with select statement select that uh, select statement whatever we have bu cas bellner and uh, gjhr blr BLRP from BKPF into table IT underscore BKPF where Bellner and S underscore Bellner. So this is what is a set statement. Now we'll create the object. So how do we create the object? We'll click on this and uh, select the above objects go for the create object and we have o underscore alb1 is that the one which we have created yes o, o underscore container one cyn1 and then the, the uh, class is cyn let me check these things that we have discussed we have given it as o underscore cyn1 cyn2 and alb1 alb2 let's do that So, so, so here we'll go, go ahead with the container one. So here we'll go for C O N T one container one. Okay, so here we'll go ahead with this is Okay, this code was gone. So let me let me write this again. Select statement. Select the Eucaris.
select DOKRS and Belmer GJHR BLART from BKPO into table IP underscore BKPF where Belmer in S underscore Belmer. Okay, that's like this. Now we will we have to call the we have to call the objects. So we have to call this. Let's say we, we have this create object, right? So we'll go ahead with the create object. Create object of what? We'll create object of O underscore CYN1. So we'll go back O underscore CYN1 and custom container. So in this we'll go for container one CYNT1. This is what we have, and then we'll go ahead with again we'll go for next one that is create object o underscore al1 custom container and then this one behind this a underscore parent o underscore cyn1 Okay, so we have done this. So O underscore CYN1 and no, not the parent. The parent one is, yeah, this one, this one. The parent one is, yeah, yeah O underscore CYN1 is, so that's right. Yeah, O underscore CYN1 is what we have to pass here. Better if we write it in capital letters, O underscore CYN1. Even if you write in lowercase also it works, then we'll go for the uh, for the first program, first screen, we'll go for the module. We'll call the module. So we'll call the method. So how do we call the method? No, this is not. So we'll go for Canton. We'll go for this other topics. Call method. A underscore A and B. One. C underscore custom container. Method is set first display. So we have set table for first display the last one. Let us select that one and say OK. And here we have this IS underscore label. Let's pass this IS underscore label here. Here we have IT underscore BKPF. That's the table. So this is for the first string. Okay, this is for the first string. And of course, we also have to give the field catalog set. We'll give this it underscore it underscore fct fct one. We have this. We will go ahead with that. Now, after calling this, we have to go for the create object. So create object. Create object, create object ob underscore event this is object for event actually this is object for event so we have called so for event we have to write another step called set handler set handler for event we have to write another step called set handler uh, ob underscore event ob underscore event click this is something which is a standard one ob underscore event is the one which we have that object name click is a standard one for o underscore alb1 that object and this is the this is the object for which we are making use of that so ob underscore event click this is a click that we have here this is a method click okay so this method click we can give we can give any name actually so, so we can give any name here that's a that's a that's a customized one 
I will write that and for O, o underscore LV1. O underscore LV1 is an object for LV1. We have done that. So this is this is the one which will actually initiate the triggering process from the first screen to second screen. When you click on the first screen, it will it will enable you to go to the second screen with this set hand, uh, so this event. So for that we are creating that event. So if, if OB underscore event will come into existence, oh, uh, this click this the event will be enabled only when you say you can write like this create object event and then we have write the set handle. This is what we have. So after this. Can go ahead with the second one. For second one, we have tried it in the second uh, module. This is for the first display, and the second module will go ahead with the second one here. Second output. In the second output here, this one, we have tried the logic for the second one. So what logic we will write here is we'll again create, we will again call this. See, the select statement is already been written for this in the event. Okay, so we'll go for the pattern. And in the pattern, we'll go for other objects. Say OK and uh, create object OLV2. So first, we'll go for CYN1, CYN2. This is like custom container. OK. Done. And another name is CYNT2. And uh, pattern. Of objects say okay, LV2 LV3 and this is LV3 LV2 and in this what we have to pass is we have to pass just the name of this object first object that is O underscore C1 D2. O underscore C O N two C O N T two. Did we give it as C O N T two or C O N C O N two? Just C O N two. C O N two. That's the object. That's the parent class. This is for second screen actually. And for the second screen, uh, same way we have to call the. Uh, we have to create the method also. Same way we have to create the method also. So the triggering mechanism is something which I'll explain you once again. Okay, so we'll go ahead with uh, this is for the second screen, and then we'll call this function model. And this is a method that we are calling pattern. Call the method. Say so, okay. The method which we have to call here is a o n square l v two grid display. Say okay. And here we are going to go ahead with the is underscore label. We can pass it again. Same is underscore label which we have used for the first screen. We can use it here also. Here. We have this as it underscore bsag it underscore fct2. So once it's been done, we'll go ahead with the input. In the input, we'll write something like um, case. Same thing. We can copy paste from the same on the top whatever we are written. The same copy paste from here we are written right. So case. Same thing we can write because we are giving the input. We have to give it like this. Yeah. Container. Oh, I have to write W A. Either I have to make here W A or I have to make it W there. It's better I'll make this W here. It will be easy. Okay. Put 
KPF We do have the B and the KPF Sir. Yes. Sir, you wrote at the beginning all the free, all the work erasers W underscore sir, not like W A underscore. Yes, that's right. The form one. Okay, I'll go for see and write this. I need to share the. I need to copy the properties for this actually. So even though if I write as WA, it's okay, but I need to write the properties for this. So properties of this is like WA underscore BKPF. And uh, here this is like IT underscore IT underscore BSEG. Hmm. Z E I L E is not compatible. Okay. Into, I will write this as into corresponding fields of table. Okay, fair if at all if there is any match mismatch, we we'll go ahead with it. Table field for the result type of in the structure for a uh, Belner uh, different structure other different data elements so yeah 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 I think, I think they have so for Belner for Belner I need to give it as Belner underscore D Belner underscore that's perfect so we will We'll get some values, let's say one, two, nine thousand or something like that. I'll get execute. We'll get the first screen. And if you click on a particular value of the account number, we'll get the details on the second screen. Okay, we're not getting it actually. We are getting only the screen. Let me check. Okay, maybe there are no records for that. Okay, that's right. We don't have the records for that values. We have records for something like a zero three double zero two zero three zero 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 hundred. We have values for this. So for this, if I double click on it, we'll get the okay. The field symbols.
okay. Let me check the second screen. Uh, field catalogs is what I need to check. Okay, so here we have a new sheet. I just let me check the data elements for this. Okay, these are correct. Now I just need to check the field catalogs. Actually, this we have taken this bell map of being carrots. Bell map. That's it. Okay, so we are getting the item data in the next screen. Headings, as we know, we have to pass the structure. If we pass the structure, we'll, we'll, we can do it, which we had done in the previous uh, sessions as well. We'll do that. But ultimately, you, we, have, uh, we have focused on making it interactive. So for making it interactive, there are, there are some five steps. Okay. Uh, what are the five steps? What, what we are doing here is 34th line, 35th line, we are adding one class and we are defining an object which is of type that class. And then we are adding a we are defining the class inside the startup selection and we are also implementing it this is the extra thing that we are doing and we are writing this logic for the click you have to capture the click okay in the first screen and you have to do something what what the system has to do it has to trigger the click and in what 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 is that see if you click on the first screen event gets triggered that is double click is a standard event which, which automatically gets triggered and for that what what is the method that we are writing we are writing click and what happens in the click read table it underscore bkpf into w underscore bkpf index e underscore row hyphen index so what happens here is if you have clicked on the fifth line the fifth line data will be will be read from internal table to work area the first internal table. then it goes and performs the second so this is a form let's go to the form so what it does is if you have clicked on the fifth line, the fifth line data is read into the into this uh, work area, right? So based on that fifth line record data, we are selecting the data from the second table that is BSEG. Done. So after that, what we have done? So we have got the data data for the second screen. Okay. So we have got the data for the second screen. And when this gets triggered, when that second uh, we are clicking on the first screen. Okay. Uh, so before that itself, this select statement for the first program will trigger, first screen will trigger. So in this, we are writing this, uh, you know, create object O underscore CYN1, O underscore LV1. We are doing this and then we are writing this O underscore LV1, set for set table for first display. Everything we are doing it twice. But here, what we need to concentrate on is, if this is getting triggered, the event gets triggered here only when we write these two links. Create object OB underscore event and set handler OB underscore event, click for o underscore lv1 so this is what we have okay so these are the three the five things that we have to focus on to make it interactive which we need to remember okay so just go through this again once again if it is required we'll discuss uh, again later and this code will be available for you this is in this in the new York server only so you can access it and if there is an issue we'll we'll see and you can share your screen and uh, discuss the what exactly is the issue and then we can go ahead fine